we are looking at uh, question number 3 from chapter number 27 of hc verma the chapter is about specific heat capacities of uh, gases so the question says that figure shows a cylindrical container containing oxygen enclosed by a 50 kg piston so here is your cylinder okay above the cylinder we have a piston inside the cylinder we have oxygen so here i mention inside we have oxygen okay the area of cross section is 100 cm square piston's area is given atmospheric pressure is given 100 kPa and g which is acceleration due to gravity is 10 m per second square the cylinder is slowly heated for some time find the amount of heat supplied to the gas if the piston moves out through a distance of 20 cm okay so let's understand few things over here first the pressure above the piston that is due to atmosphere it will remain constant okay and second thing the gravitational force acting on the piston is constant right so if you see in this diagram over here the outside pressure p not is constant the inside pressure is p initially forget the heat for now okay let's not look at the heat supplied at the moment so outside pressure is p not inside pressure is p and what is p equal to in this case so right now ignore the heat assume uh, no process right now okay so let's look at the bot, uh, free body diagram of the piston so from the top force acting on the piston is p not into area from the bottom force acting on the piston is p into area and piston itself has got some mass so mass of piston will create gravity downwards mg so net force on the piston should be zero then we can easily write down that mg plus p not a equal to p a correct so what is p equal to p will be equal to p not plus mg divided by a right this is the pressure inside the gas now if you observe something as you heat the cylinder as you are heating the cylinder the gas will absorb heat so it will try to expand it will push on the piston but if you see something the external pressure is not changing external pressure p not is not changing and the gravitational force on the piston mg is not changing so according to this equation pressure will remain constant pressure will remain constant so basically this is a question of isobaric process with the pressure equal to p not plus mg by a so now it's a very easy question so in the question they have given the distance traveled by the piston is 20 cm so if you multiply the distance with area we can obtain the change in volume so change in volume is how much so delta v will be 100 cm square into 20 cm so that will be equal to 2000 cm cube okay now similarly the mass of the piston is given to be 50 kg so we can find the pressure so putting in this formula p equal to p not plus mg by a we will get p equal to p not is 10 power 5 pascal given plus mg m is 50 kg into g is 10 divided by area that is 100 cm square now we convert into si units so 10 power 5 plus 500 divided by 100 into cm square is how much 10 power minus 4 m square okay so we will get this to be equal to 10 power 5 plus 5 into 10 power 4 okay so this will be equal to you could say 1.5 into 10 power 5 pascals okay this is your pressure found now we just need to apply the adiabatic process equations so for adiabatic process work done will be how much work done will be p times v2 minus v1 that is equal to p times delta v correct so pressure is how much 1.5 into 10 power 5 pascal 1.5 into 10 power 5 and volume is change in volume is 2000 cm cube 
or in meter cube if I write this down 2000 into 10 power minus 6 meter cube so this is equal to into 2000 into 10 power minus 6 meter cube so I will obtain so this will be equal to 300 joules SI units okay now what about the change in internal energy so delta u will be delta u will be f by 2 n r delta t or I could write this down as f by 2 n r t2 minus t1 so this is equal to f by 2 n r t2 minus n r t1 now n r t2 is how much pv2 so I could rewrite this down as f by 2 nrt2 is pv2 minus nrt1 is pv1 so this is basically equal to f by 2 p delta v now p delta v we already found out p delta v is work done and that is equal to 300 joules so we just need to put p delta v equal to 300 now for oxygen degree of freedom is 5 it's a diatomic gas and p delta v is 300 so we obtain delta u is equals to f by 2 means 5 by 2 into 300 so that is equal to this is equal to 750 joules okay now let me clarify one thing this work done 300 joules is work done by the gas some people get confused whether we have to write work done by the gas or on the gas so here i have written work done equal to p delta v this is work done by the gas okay now according to first law of thermodynamics heat supplied minus work done by the gas is equal to change in internal energy so heat supplied will be how much change in internal energy plus w by gas okay so delta u is 750 plus work done by the gas is how much 300 so we obtain 1050 joules this is your answer okay